So today we have a scene that reads out like a small film. A woman enters the church with a small child. Now, you would think that the scene was like really just serene and everybody's getting ready for worship. So now enters a woman dressed in a trench coat. Really what a nefarious look. No one pays her no mind. It's a church for Christ's sake. So to the, con uh, to the congregation, everybody is willing to live and let live. But this woman has other things in mind. So she just starts shooting. And just like any shooting, there was no time to really just aim. There was no time to really uh, think. There was just time to want to save lives. So, this child that was with her ends up being shot. Now I'm always railing on, you know, policemen. But this time, it was a good job. There was uh, two police officers on the scene to help save lives. No child should have to undergo being shot, but no parent, parental figure, or adult should put a child in a place to be a shield. And by the way, this incident that I'm describing happened at Joel Osteen's church. So far, the child is in condi critical condition. The woman has passed. And the two policemen that end up doing the shooting are on administrative leave. I think there's a point to be made in this story. When it comes down to security, for your church, events, or anything else that you have planned that gathers a whole lot of people together, you can't skip on security. When it comes down to your own personal safety, you can't skimp and try to go and take self-defense classes because self-defense classes can't rival a gun. And my final point. To making this long made or heartfelt video. Sometimes the dress code is needed. I need to know if it's sunshiny outside, it's pretty warm, why are you wearing a trench coat? And right now, with the world tempo being the way that it is, I wouldn't even be hurt if metal detectors was used. Let's go and put in ties for that.